Look, we have it. We have the Mini 4 Pro. We finally got it and we're out in the field. On today's episode of Let's Talk Drones, we are conducting our first of many tests on the Mini 4 Pro. We're going to be taking a look at how this does in high winds. It was originally going to be a different review video, but I stepped outside and it's just a little bit gusty. Gusts reaching up to about 30 miles an hour here and we've got a steady breeze even a borderline wind just sort of blowing through every few seconds. This is a sub 250 gram drone. Now I have the Battery Plus product in it, so it's a little bit over that weight. It's still really lightweight, so we're gonna see how it does up against some pretty strong winds. Without further ado, let's talk drones. What's up? It's Chris the Drone Geek and welcome to another episode of Let's Talk Drones. Let's Talk Drones is brought to you by The Droning Company, the number one online resource for commercial remote pilots based in the United States. Make sure you check them out online at thedroningcompany.com and across all major social media platforms. We have it in hand. I knew we were going to have it. It was just a matter of when. We finally do have the Mini 4 Pro and I'm really excited to crack into some of these tests. If you watched my unboxing video, you got to see all the parts that come with the Mini 4 Pro Fly More Combo Plus. That includes the DJI RC2 as well as three Battery Plus products, which means that I get increased flight time. What that does mean though for the drone itself, like I said at the intro of this video, it's a little bit heavier than 250 grams. It's still really lightweight though, so I'm gonna be interested to see how it does in the wind. We are on the campus of Lock Haven University in North Central Pennsylvania, my alma mater. I am a bald eagle, so I'm really excited to get, show you some shots and give you a sneak preview of the camera quality on the Mini 4 Pro while we see how it does in high winds. Enough talk, let's get this thing in the air, see how it does. Okay, so it's no mystery that DJI has incredible technology in their gimbals, especially those three axis gimbals that come on consumer and prosumer drones. And because of that incredible technology, we won't be able to see how the Mini 4 Pro is handling gusts and wind speeds at elevation. It should, for the most part, stabilize the image. So we won't be able to actually see it through the camera very well. That's why we're going to conscript the help of an old friend, the Mavic 3. We're going to be using this for air to air up in the sky. It's going to be keeping track of the Mini 4 Pro and how it handles winds in a stationary position. Obviously, I'm just one person, so we can't have these things flying at the same time in terms of navigating the airspace. We're just going to go ahead and do a hover test and see what the Mini 4 Pro can do. Let's get them up in the air. Okay, so we have both drones in the air. They are around 130 feet and uh, this is just where we're going to start the wind test because obviously the higher you go the more volatile the winds can be so 130 feet is a pretty reasonable height here i'm going to go ahead and press record on the mini 4 also going to screen record on the mini 4 if i can get it to work here oh there we go we're recording okay excellent so we've got a screen record of the Mini 4. We've got our screen recording as well as our feed recording of the Mavic 3. I'm gonna go ahead and bump the Mavic 3 up. The Mini 3 has gained a little elevation. You can see here for gusts reaching 30 miles an hour and wind speeds, you know, consistent between, I would say 15, maybe 16, 17 miles an hour in some cases, uh, you know, it's pretty solid. Uh, it's holding position pretty well. There is some play in the drone overall. You can see it's having a little bit harder time right now as I'm talking, sort of staying stable, but the imagery is fantastic out of the camera. The stabilization on the drone's controller is actually pretty darn good. Now, the Mini 4 Pro is handling this really well, so let's go ahead, we'll bump the height up by another 100 feet or so, we'll put it up at about 230 feet. Mini 4 Pro going up first. Excellent, Mini 4 Pro is up, the Mini 4 is swaying and moving just a bit in the wind. It's a little concerning because it is pushing forward in a way. Let's go ahead and drop the elevation. We'll bring the Mavic in a little closer. Yeah, you can see the Mini 4 is having a lot more difficulty staying stable at 230 feet. It's definitely wavering quite a bit. We'll want to keep an eye on it with the Mavic. At some point, maybe at the next elevation change, we'll actually pull the Mavic back and utilize that telephoto zoom that it has on board. 
yeah, overall, Mini's Forest handling it pretty well. I mean, for a drone this size, you have to keep in mind, it is a lightweight Mini drone. So it is going to have a little bit more difficulty dealing with wind because it doesn't have the same robustness of larger drones. But overall, I'm pretty pleased. It's holding its position fairly well. And what's even better is the camera feed on the drone that shows the campus of Lock Haven University is rock solid. So everything's working as it should. There's a little bit slight, a slightly more aggressive wind gust just came through. I just wanted to back the Mavic up a little bit. And in fact, you know, we're gonna go ahead and push it again. There's no reason to sit here and just watch it hover. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll push it up to 300 feet at this one. Now, I am a little concerned about how the Mini is going to handle 300 feet. We've already seen a lot more volatility from 130 to 230. So let's go ahead and add another 70 feet and see how it does. We'll start with the Mini 4. We'll go ahead, push it up another 70 feet to 300. 302, that sounds fine. Now what I'm gonna do is I am, there's parallax involved here, obviously, because I'm standing almost directly under the drones. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna back the Mavic up. I'm gonna push it up to 300 feet. I probably keep bumping the mic with my chin and I apologize for that. Okay, I found it. And let's go ahead and we're gonna stop the Mavic feed for a second so that we can zoom in on the Mini 4 Pro. There we go. Now we can keep a safe distance without having to worry about the Mini, you know, flying into the Mavic 3. I don't know how that would go. Obviously the Mini would definitely go down, uh, but would the Mavic 3 go down? It's hard to say. Not something I wanna play with, particularly right now. So uh, again, it, we're at 304 feet. The wind has died down a little bit. We do have a gentle breeze still rolling through. Um, it's doing really well. And like I said, guys, you can probably see from my hair blowing from time to time, it is a gusty, windy fall day here in North Central Pennsylvania. Like I said, I checked the UAV forecast app, which you can download on the Apple App Store, as well as the Android Market. Um, it's a really great resource to tell you if the conditions are ideal for flight or not. It will tell you if it's safe to fly, if it's not safe to fly. And according to that app, we had wind speeds reaching up to 30 miles an hour gust wise, and then consistent wind speeds between 15 and 17 miles an hour. And it seems like the Mini 4 Pro is doing really, really well handling that. Now let's go ahead and push it to the last tier, the last legal tier that we can get to. Let's go up to 400 feet and see just how well the Mini 4 Pro does in the wind. So we'll push, push the Mini 4 Pro up first. And just for the heck of it, when I get up there, I'm gonna go ahead and tilt the camera down. Oh, we're a little over. Let's bring that back down, 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 down. Okay, there we go. Much better. I'm gonna go ahead and stop at 396 because as we saw in the last two um, position hold checks, the Mini 4 does have a tendency to drift up and down as well as side to side. Um, so I don't want there to be an issue where we go over that 400 foot elevation limit. Okay, as you can see, having a heck of a time. We're at 399 with the Mavic 3. Okay, yeah, definitely at uh, around 400 feet, the Mini 4 Pro is fighting a little harder. It's not holding as consistent of a position. It's hovering between I'd say three and four foot radius of its given position, its position hold, um, which isn't bad. That's actually pretty darn good, pretty stable overall. Uh, but if you are navigating a tight space and maybe the conditions are a little bit windy, something to keep in mind, the Mini 4 Pro is not going to have a rock solid, hey, we're gonna stay within six inches of our given flight path or position in the airspace. Uh, it is gonna have some play in it, but that's normal. I mean, you'd expect that in any drone. So no real big negative marks there. It, it definitely is fighting the wind a lot harder but overall i'm really impressed with how well the mini 4 pro does handling the wind we are at around 396 between there and 400 feet and it is definitely rock solid i mean there's no other way to put it uh the mini 4 pro 
gets a huge up in the wind test from me. It does feel like we have a slight breeze coming through right now, so it's probably a little bit more, sorry, some people are just blowing me up on Instagram. Um, it, it probably is a little bit more volatile up there uh, where we don't have any traffic keeping us, uh, oh, I pushed the camera down. That just figured out what that function button does. Um, yeah, it's probably a little bit more volatile up there where there's not as much insulation from winds like there are down here with buildings, with trees, etc. I'll go ahead and get this back up in the camera frame there. But with that said, I think we've seen what we need to see. Pretty windy, gusty day today, and the Mini 4 Pro handled the wind like a champ. Let's go ahead and land both drones and see what we found out. Okay, so that is our official test on how the Mini 4 Pro handles wind. It wasn't in the original plans, but we had a windy day, and I thought, we got to get out and do it because we don't know if we're going to have another windy day in the near future or not. What did you think of how the Mini 4 Pro handled the wind? Personally, I thought it did really well. You have to remember, this is a lightweight drone. This is a mini drone, which means it's not going to have the hardiness in those higher wind speeds that larger drones might have with larger motors. For the size of this drone and for the size of the motors, I was extremely pleased with how it handled the wind speeds. Like I said, today we got between 15 and 17 sustained winds and we got around 30 miles an hour gusts so it was a really pretty windy fall day here in north central pennsylvania and the dji mini 4 pro handled it like a champ let me know your thoughts in the comments down below if you like this video make sure you hit the thumbs up icon helps me out a lot it helps get this video out into the algorithm to more viewers like yourself if you love drone content made by drones about drones and for drone pilots my friend this is the channel for you make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and while you're at it go ahead and hit the bell icon too it'll give you a notification every time i post a new video until next time i'm chris the drone geek and i am out of here see ya Yo, yo, what you say? Steady screaming, yo, no rocket.